Good morning, folks. We'll be looking at space weather today, including an outlook. We'll see two good articles on space weather and biology, and then a great one on flux transfer events and their impact to Earth. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we had a few more M-class solar flares from the incoming active regions. None produced major CMEs, none produced CMEs aimed for Earth, and the plasma filaments have remained stable. We'll continue watching those today as we also await a minor CME impact from the Thursday eruption. And the active regions do look developed as they come into view. We've got new sunspots north and south, and we will be focused there in terms of solar flaring, even while the surrounding plasma filaments do also carry the eruption watch. First up in the articles today is another in the realm of magnetic fields, microbiota. Every study of the sort seems to come to the same conclusion. The electromagnetic environment impacts at the cellular level. This has broader implications, of course, and it is nice when those are well flushed out for larger creatures like humans. The bulk of this paper is not in English, but the English summary is excellent, confirming the connection between solar activity and cardiac issues, cancer, and much more. Golf clap for that team. Up next... Let's review a bit of good science related to our top story. The sun's magnetic fields have pretty broad scales. Some are low-level arches connecting sunspots. Others connect distant reaches of the corona with one another. The largest component is the heliosphere, which forms a bubble around the entire solar system. And in between all of those are the interplanetary magnetic fields that stretch outward through the plane of the solar system. But... They don't do so in a straight line. They ride within the heliospheric current sheet, the waving, rippling, electric field structure, same as the ones in a lab or in a galaxy. Many previous studies have demonstrated how these magnetic fields can have a significant space weather impact to Earth, just like a solar flare and CME eruption. And here, we see them discussing those impacts, including the formation of electric vortex structures in the ionosphere. These work with the plasma exchange between space and the Earth system, and we shouldn't really be surprised that the solar system version of the electric circuit impacts the area of Earth that then works the global electric circuit and the weather below. And no, this is also not in official climate models. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.